Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back with some more of our Oakland A's a Moneyball franchise. We just went through the offseason last couple of episodes, um, recording a lot. I do have another trip to really go down. I'm going to be traveling a lot over the summer until probably September, but that's going to be all over... The channel update so just pay attention to all those we have year two for Kluber who we did get off a very down year crazy that he only cost us nine million dollars or so maybe even less if it's even less that's gonna be a crazy crazy side let's look at him and then kind of go through as yeah, Kluber was 5.29, went 11 and 13 out of 33 starts. Not great. Uh, at about what he had in Cleveland out of the starts before, I think he got injured in 2019. But the year before that, uh, he's been a fairly consistent player. But on the downtrend, he's 35 years old. We got him. For only six point two million dollars, so we do have uh, what we're looking at for the lineups. Let's quickly go through this. As we have the A's, uh, Kluber will be our ace. Sean is our two. Montgomery's our three. Uh, Jesus Lazardo will be our four, and Dylan Cease will get the nod as our fifth. Uh, Robert Gesselman might end up our fifth but uh he's long reliever guy that could start so we'll kind of see how that goes bullpen uh petite we did sign doolittle on the downtrend at 35 years old did pitch though uh 2.61 in a closing spot with 41 saves so he has some spot save uh, potential if we do need him to come in as Sir Anthony Dominguez, who we got in the Rule 5 draft, will be our closer for this season. And JB uh, Wendelkin, Adam Korolek is kind of the setup movement guy. Typically the setup, for some reason, in the sim doesn't get as many uh, innings. So we put Korolek here. I do want to see Wendell can get more innings in that. So that will be our bullpen. We're going to go through the pitching of the other ones. At AAA, Nelson uh, Koo is going to be the ace with fellow draftee Kevin Espinoza. Henry Tanaka is down here at 23 years old. I think he will benefit from being down at AAA. And we really need that potential to go up. Otherwise, he's going to struggle at getting his overall up. Martin Collier, another guy that we drafted last season, another 68 overall B potential. He's going to be the four. And James Nail, at 27 years old, trying to break into the roster for the MLB. He'll probably end up being there when he's about 29. Caprellian has come up in the MLB. Does have .064 MLB service. We had to use a minor league option. And I think he's going to get better. And he might be up in the majors at the end of the season. Juan Quintana, same thing. Kyle Fredericks, who we sent down from the majors down into AAA, used had to use one of his options. Lorenzo uh, Villanova, uh, Watson Charles, Juan Then, Brian Howard, Jesus Sombrano, and Eric Ramirez. Trying to get better here. He's going to start as a closer here. Trying to develop our bullpen long term and kind of see how that goes. At double A, Taylor Hurd is going to be starting down here. The all star that we saw in double A at 19 years old. Get him some more development. Trey Stupik, who's 24, again, another all star at double A. Steven Gonzalez is going to start at double A for right now. But he might be up at triple A. He did struggle at triple A towards the end of the season before we sent him down for the playoffs. J.J. Goss, who I believe is a drafted player 
by me. I wish there was an easy way to kind of see that. There probably is. But I think he is a drafted player, or we did sign him in free agency at 20 years old. And Zach Jackson, who we saw in that big all-star game last year, he is going to be the number five starter. We'll see how he works out. From there, Matt Milburn, Domingo Robles, James Rowe, Jimmy Harrington, Norhe Ruiz, Miguel Romero, and Julius Pineda, the drafted guy, is going to be at double A to start out as the closer, and we'll kind of move him up and around. So that is the pitching rotation all the way down to the uh, majors. So let's start in reverse. Uh, biggest uh, guys down at double A, uh, uh, Jaquan Campillo. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, 44 overall, age 22. Did have to sign him because we didn't have enough first basemen, or first base uh, players. So we'll see how that works. A potential, but I'm not sure how much he's going to come up. And uh, Santos Sanchez, another guy, a potential player, has a lot of work. But we had a couple of all stars last year in Chase uh, Calabug, who's a 24, and Cody Thomas, who's going to be playing DH. We had our drafted guys. They're going to be starting here. Daniel, or Daniel, Darnell Starr out of Iowa. So he's going to be at double A. And the other one that we um, run in, Louis Uribe of North Carolina is, well, he needs some work on his hitting. So he's not going to be in the everyday spot at this point. Manuel uh, Lopes. Needs some work. Rene Garcia, same thing as well. So, a lot of, not a lot of prospects down at Double A. Pretty much just pitching prospects and star who will be starting at the Double A level. At Triple A, here's where a lot of our talent is on the field. Starting on the bench right now. Ha, uh, Haas, who we had to re we had to sign someone for third base, but someone that could play a utility position for Triple A. So he's gonna be on the team. Esteban Florial, another guy that we needed some outfield depth, has played the MLB, so we'll probably see him sooner rather than later as a depth position here. Since we have Mark Canna and we need to be able to pull some people up if we need to for injuries. Colin uh D. Rene here. Uh, it's going to be down at the AAA level, but I don't think he's going to come up. And that will be your bench players there. Uh, biggest players out here, Jimmy Ironman, 24 years old, is going to start at AAA this season. But he likely will be pull, called up if we have any injuries. He does play all the infield positions besides uh, first base. And uh, Lazaro Armenteros. Uh, he was at the majors. We did use a minor league option. I think he's going to need maybe another year, but if we need to pull him up desperately, we will. Uh, Mikey White, another guy that was an all-star last year. Ramirez. Ben Gelman, who was an all-star, 22 years old. Still needs some work. JJ Schwartz, who had some MLB time last year because of some injuries and then got hurt himself. And couldn't come up to the majors. Uh, Buddy Reed. Another guy that could play multiple ones. And Greg uh, Dykeman here. Just needs some more work at 25 years old. Now at the majors. On the bench, use depth. We'll start over here. Mark Canna playing center field. Uh, he's going to be in here or there. Edmundo Sosa. Getting the nod up at the MLB level this season. Has played in St. Louis a couple of games as some depth in 19 and 2018. Did not play up in the majors for us last year. He was at AAA. He's going to get the nod. And we'll see what he can do here. Vidal Brujan got the nod last season. Did decent. 
for a reserve guy. Only 20 games, 60 at bats, a 217. Five ribbies, no homers, but not really a power guy, more of a contact guy. But we need some speed for some pinch running, but we also need someone that can decently field if we have some injuries. Porter Witt, even though he has a deep potential, and he did only play in a couple of games last season, only 11 at bats, batted uh, 182. Thing is, with those uh, 11 at bats, did have four strikeouts, but walked twice and had two hits. So, just me hits and walks to get on base, but he only played in a couple of games because of some injuries. Jose Martinez, who played a little DH uh, this season, he's going to be playing all over the field for us. And uh, Tyler Stevenson, who will be our reserve catcher, only been up to majors a couple of years. Was up here for a full season last year. 260, six home runs, 14 RBI, so a decent one here. The lineup, we're going to lead off. In many cases, with the rookie against right-handed pitching, Giuseppe Castilla. Playing out in left field. Doesn't have the strongest arm, but he has that speed. We'll see him good contact hitting. Not going to hit four power, but at 18 years old, 74 with a B potential. Our first draft pick is Stellar. And he's going to be up at the majors. We're going to have D. Gordon because of the injury to uh, uh, Posillon. So Gordon is going to be playing short. Uh, it's going to be our everyday shortstop. Until Posillon is back. I think it's about a month to two months with an arm fracture. So we'll see him. Another contact guy with some speed. Matt Chapman's third. Olsen four. Liriano's five. Nelson Cruz is going to bat six. He's going to be our everyday DH. Until we need... I'd rather have that. So yeah, he's going to be our everyday DH. We're going to be playing, obviously, a lot of our games with DH. Keston Haria, who we did make a big trade for. Uh, I will show that one, but I think I did already. But that was a big trade for him. He's going to be our everyday second baseman. We gave up uh, Piscotti. Uh, I think it was Bassett and uh, Castellanos for him. And he is going to be our everyday guy. Uh, good power against righties. Contacts getting up there. Milwaukee, he batted 257 as an everyday second baseman. The primary, he does play a little first base, but he's moved over to second in 2021, I think it was. And so we're going to use him at second, but naturally he does play also first base. Clint Frazier out in right field with that arm, and Sean Murphy back from the injury from last season was not great with that injury. We kind of went downhill from there. So against righties, that's our lineup. Against lefties, uh, we're going to have Martinez out in left field. Not many movement there, but we're going to see what we have in this team. So I got my scouting set up. Uh, budget, we're under... We're just about on the cusp of about $100 million. Uh, we got some people on the trade block that we might trade. Uh, looking at our trade talks, we need some depth at left field, short, and second base, but I think we're pretty much good there. One thing I do want to look at is our depth chart going into this season, and this is what we're looking at in 2022. Uh, Castilla, not great, but I think he is going to be... A lot better projected up in the 90s in about four years. Uh, the stopgap at short right now with D. Strange Gordon. Uh, Posillon will be the one that's a long term guy there. And then Sosa and Iron Man will be the ones that eventually come up. Chapman over at third. We're looking fine with that. We're going to have to sign Chapman in 2024. Nelson Cruz is the DH, at least for this season. 
Sean Murphy at catcher is locked up until 2025, so we're good there. We just got to think about reserve. Out in center, Loriano is locked up until 2026, so that's a good one there. Out in right, Frazier's locked up until 2024. Uh, Armenteros is out there as well. It's going to be coming. Mark Cannon is getting up there in age, and so is Jose Martinez. At second, Keston Huria will be our guy that we go with until at least 2025. But we'll see how his growth goes. At first, obviously, Matt Olson is looking at a new contract for next season. And then what do we do there? We do have some depth, but that's one position we'll have to figure out. And pitching, Corey Kluber has a two-year deal, so this year and next year. Uh, Lazardo is up there. Sean Manea is really the one that needs to do some growth. He's going to stagnate it unless he has a good year. Montgomery goes into contract year next year. Dylan Cease, the same thing for this season. And then we could see Kevin Espinoza, Martin Coyer. We might see a little bit of Nelson Koo. We'll kind of see how that goes. We go on the pitching. The bullpen is the issue that I'm seeing. Koo could be up in the bullpen. Dylan Cease could be up here. But as for relief pitchers and closers... Um, what do we do? Pineda might be ready for the MLB in 2024, 2025. It's going to take a bit, but we'll kind of see. So that's how it is. How we look overall is 15th overall, so dead center in the MLB. 17th at speed, 15th at contact, 13th power, 15th pitching, and 6th in defense. I kind of value defense at this point. Kind of like I do in uh, Madden. So, Corey Kluber in his ace start for the Oakland A's up against Blake Snell. San Diego's ace. This will be a home game. So, we do get the DH to start the year. We do get the start with a home stand for Kluber. So, here we go. If Fam, Cornworth, Batiste, Machado, Hosmer, Kyle Seeger, they added Myers, Nola. Gonna be a lot of changes here and movement in the MLB after this past offseason. But hopefully, we made some changes to get better as we're in 2022 opening day here, Oakland Coliseum. We chose not to do any changes with the stadiums. We know if we do make the playoffs, there won't be any night games with the stadiums that are custom created. But here we were last season. Not great. Especially in ERA in the MLB, but decent. But towards the middle of the pack, actually, for everything else. We're just on the cusp in there. Opening day. Let's go, baby. Corey Kluber in his debut. He was 11-13 last season. 5.29 ERA. 1.42 whip. And that's why he was, in a way, let go into free agency by the Yankees. And how he got him so cheap. So here we go. Kluber. First pitch is going to be a cutter outside. This is a very difficult team to start the season with. And that is going to be in there. That might be a gapper. It'll be a double just past uh, Keston Hurria. Second. And that one is deep going to be caught and he's not going to test the throw that's a strong arm out there in center that is Clint Frazier that is in center good curveball there by Kluber
I missed that pitch, but luckily it's just grounded. Second. So Kluber is up there in age. We might get a couple of good years, if not one good year out of him. But that's really all we need to kind of establish our rookies at the minors. See if they can handle the pressure. That was a foul ball. Cutter inside, fouled off by Machado. And that's a sinker inside. Let's go. That's a big one there. Okay. Here's D Strange Gordon. Up against Blake Snell. That's away. And Schnell just having issues locating pitches. And that's going to be out and caught. The speed out there at short. Batting second. No left fielder. Jose Martinez. Okay, here's Jose Martinez. And that's going to be a high fly ball, but easily playable in right. That is good. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. That's inside. Come on, chap. That's outside. Just blew that fastball right by me. Ooh, that's a good slider. Inside. That was definitely a ball, but we had to do something with it. Okay, Eric Cosmer. Leading off from San Diego, the first baseman, Eric Cosmer. And that is. Slow roller into the outfield. And here's the double play. Let's go. That's a good one. Here we go, baby. Let me get something going. Leading up for the A's, the first baseman, Matt Olsen.
And that against the shift is knocked down. Can he get a play? And we're going to be safe. Our first base hit today. We're going to see Ramon Liriano. And that is hard hit, but straight to short. Not great as we're going to see Nelson Cruz. They have 28 home runs, 84 RBIs, 297 last year. It's away. And Cruz at 41 years old is an asset in the DH, but you got to be able to make contact with the ball. And I just completely missed the pitch that I wanted. Here we go, Kluber. And that is a ground ball. He's out. Kluber, not a lot of strikeouts at this point in his career, but getting ground balls. That's another one in a second. Here we go. We get through the inning there. All right, Frazier. Leading off for the A's, the right fielder, Clint Frazier. All ones that count. And I just not able to keep up with that. It's a good play. Wow. What a play. I think you got him. We're going to take a replay of that. Yep. What a great one there. One -oh. All right, Keston. First at bat in a regular season for the Athletics. Ooh, that was the one. It's a good four seam. What a four seam, just not able to locate it. Put the bat in the ball. Sean Murphy's going to come in. So what? Oh, 
And that one's in on the hands, but you should be able to do something with that ball. Hoover out here still doing work. That was an easy one there. Batis. We'll beat him at the bag. A Machado. And that's going to be a single out and right. Boober against Hosmer. And that is the easy play for Olsen at first. All right, D. Gordon. Not shortstop. D. Gordon. Not able to catch up with the ball. Oh wow. That slider. All right, Martinez. Let's go, baby. Ooh. That was going to be down here. Good change up. I wanted to swing at that. And that is going to be pushed out into right. Just late on it, but Martinez has himself a single. Alright, chap. It's inside. Ah, that's it on the hands. What are you doing? Now batting. All right, Olsen. Wow, that slider. Be smart with Olsen. Oh, wow. That change up, baby. That change up. Okay, if it's close. We take the lead. Ah. 
And that's a lazy fly ball by Liriano. Come on. All right, against Kyle Seeger. That's right. D. Gordon. The right fielder, number four, Will Murray. You know what I am going to do? I am actually going to go back and go to Classic. Means ratings matter more. Consider where you wanted this placed. One ball, two strikes, you down. Got him with the cutter. Missed that. And Kluber missed that on the outside. The inside, I mean. That's up. High fly ball. And that is just over the wall. What a home run. That's barely... I don't think we got there in time. Nope. And that is another one. Huber hung that one. Oh, wow. Someone pick up the ball. Oh, wow. He's easily out, but... Uber. Not able to do anything. One thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to change it back for the same reason that I did last time. I, I'm just watching the game at this point. I want to play play the game. All right, Cruz. It's inside. I do like the fact that your ratings matter more there, but you want to see it just like batting. Ooh, that's a good ball.
And that's Nelson Cruz, no doubter. Who would have known a free agent acquisition in Nelson Cruz at 41 years old would be the one that gets us on the board first? Okay, Clint Frazier. Now that the right fielder. Clint. Oh one's the count. Frazier. That's a reach, and that's why it's weakly hit. And that's hit straight at right fielder. Now batting, catcher, John Murphy. Good timing, just not enough. Outside, that's a ball. Freaky. Missed it. And we missed it again. Hold him at second. Missed it. Okay, Kyle Seeger. We get one.
And that is going to be a base hit. That's going to score likely two. Yep. Five to one. Kluber getting hit hard. Hard hit, but easily fielded. That might be the end of the day for Kluber. The Athletics, not shortstop. D. Ah. Uh. Now batting the left fielder, Jose Martinez. Oh, that's out. Just can't get anything going. Roll over it. See if Kluber can get through this. If not, we're putting a uh, few little. Oh, wow. Okay. Up next to the We're gonna put in Gieselman. Come on. And that is hung. And this is a team that is very, very difficult. Just another opening day here in Oakland. Funny part is, 
opening days for me in the show are always so much of a struggle. Once I even in my Cubs franchise, I didn't even win an opening day until maybe season three. Uh, they're going to go to their bullpen finally. It's going to be Joe Musgrove. Now pitching for San Diego. We'll pitch 75 innings, 6 and 2, 42 games, 3.84 ERA, and Nelson Cruz. We're going to send him. He's going, he's going. Now batting, right fielder, Clint Frazier. Oh, wow. No ball, two strikes. Head down. Leading off for the Padres. First baseman. We're just gonna keep Eiselman in. That's foul. Oh, I missed it. The right fielder, number four, Will Meyer. Now that catcher, Austin Nola. Ball back outside. 
Oh wow, that's smashed. And we're already struggling. Let's put in Doolittle at this point. Finish the game, probably. And wow. This has gotten out of control. We're going to sim through the night. Oh, actually, we might as well. Uh, we're going to sim through the rest of this one. This is out of control here. We get two. And three, but not very respectable. Nine to three. Uber gets hit hard. He suddenly gives up another three runs on top of that. An opening day. That's what we have issues with on this channel is Intatis making crazy plays like that. But Nelson Cruz. Chamanea, we get something there, and we do not do much with that. Okay, we're going to see Chamanea in the next game. It's going to against uh, Brad Keller. In KC, then we'll play one against Toronto, and that will be the end of April. So thank you all for joining me, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.